Hi, I'm Amber Ellis, and here's my foster story. In 2016, my husband and I received our first baby. She was a newborn girl. She came straight from the hospital with anything and everything you could think of. We had her for about a week, and she got to reunite with family. And within a few days, we received our second phone call for another little girl who was about a month old. Keep in mind, my husband and I were very new to the foster world, very new. We had the basic, the room, the bed, that was about it. We just assumed every story was like our first one. So when our second little girl made it to our house that night, she, had nothing. She had dirty clothes. They were boy clothes. That was about it. Kind of a shock for my husband and I because we were completely new. All our money went straight to paying childcare, so we didn't have any extra, which were fine. We made do. As we went on, we learned more and we did get another call for a two year old little girl, and she only had. A shirt on possibly a dress I really wasn't sure what it was but that was it so this just become a need that we noticed just along our journey of fostering so I decided to start foster your community and with this organization my team and I are hoping to be able to give each child that comes into the system a bag of their own full of just not a couple outfits but we want to be able to give them a full week of outfits the, um, the everyday necessities, the toothbrush, the hairbrush, shampoo, the conditioner, the everyday needs. These bags are just the start of Foster Your Community. Our goal is to get a home for access for foster parents and birth parents to do visits themselves. With this home, I want to be able to give them that home-like feeling a way for the parents to build their bond with their children again, a way for the foster parents and the birth parents to be able to work together, co-parent together, and just something for the kids to look forward to as well. Not that they have to go sit in McDonald's again. They get to go to this home if it's a pretty day, they get to run around the yard. If it is Christmas Eve, they can exchange their gifts in front of a Christmas tree as if they were at home together. Thank you for taking the time to listen to our message. Just know with your donations, you're helping put a smile on these children's faces.